This is Tropics. This has been sent to me from Berkeley Yeast. They sent it overnight across country so that I would have the freshest sample of this yeast. And word on the street is it makes an incredible hazy IPA. I think it's about time I found out. My name is Martin Keane and my challenge today is clear. That is, I need to brew some delicious wort in order to feed that yeast a real feast. And to that end, I have my bag of grains here, freshly milled for me yesterday by Atlantic Brew Supply. Now there are some extra steps as always with Hazy IPAs that I don't always have to take with some of the other beers, but to start off things, well, they just start as usual. I'm mashing in here at 152 Fahrenheit, 67 Celsius. And I'm gonna be mashing at that temperature for hmm, about an hour. There's quite a lot of conversion that needs to happen here. This isn't a massively big beer, but it's no shrinking violet session beer either. So we're gonna keep, just keep an eye on the gravity as the mash continues. All right, now before we get into what this yeast really is all about, uh, let's talk about what's in the mash. So in the grist for this one, well, original gravity looking at around 1066, so around 6.7% ABV, somewhere around that range. In terms of ingredients, well, hazy IPAs, you want to give a nice malt base to these things with a, a really soft mouthfeel as well. Um, what I'm going to use is 51% of just two row as my base malt. And then to that, I'm going to add 15% each cara foam, flaked barley, and white wheat malt. And then to round things out at 4%, I'll be adding in aromatic malt. Now, about that yeast. So first off, is this video sponsored by Berkeley Yeast? No, they sent me a free sample, but that's all. Now, what makes this yeast such a good fit for hazy IPAs? Well, the Berkeley Yeast website has a pretty good example. They show how a pineapple is made up of millions of molecules, but only a few of those are what give the taste we associate with pineapple. Uh, those pineapple tasting molecules are made by genes and the yeast strain that Berkeley Yeast uses actually makes those same pineapple tasting molecules. Through some experimentation, a yeast strain is developed that creates just the right amount of pineapple tasting molecules and therefore just the right amount of pineapple flavor. Now the yeast strain I'm using today is called Tropics. It's a London ale yeast and releases tropical files from hops and barley, but not pineapple. We should expect to get strong guava and passion fruit notes. Berkeley yeast says it will fill your nostrils with tropical fruit aroma, we'll see. Adding cascade hops into the whirlpool is said to accentuate that aroma, so that's what I'll be doing. The hops in today's beer, I'm using three, Calypso, Cascade, and Galaxy. But in the boil, I'm only using one, just this packet of Calypso. Uh, overall, the beer's gonna have an IBU around 53. This will get me to about 34 IBU. Just a 30 minute boil today with this going in at the start of that boil. Boil is done. Um, I've hooked up my plate chiller and uh, just cooled down to 180 Fahrenheit. And that's my whirlpool temperature. And I'm gonna stay at this whirlpool temperature for 20 minutes and add some more hops. 
I am going to be adding, well, some more Calypso. Then I'm going to be adding some Cascade, remembering that Cascade goes very well with this Tropics yeast. And one of my favorite fruity hops, Galaxy. So these are going to go in and stay in for 20 minutes. Looks like I'm at 10.63 for original gravity, pretty close to what I was shooting for. The wort's still just a touch warm, so I'm gonna hook this up to the glycol chiller and knock it down a few degrees before I add the yeast. Wort is down to 70 Fahrenheit or 21 Celsius after a good session on the glycol chiller, which you might be able to hear running down there. Now, it's time to add this guy in, the tropics. Uh, I don't know actually how much yeast is in here, only that I let Berkeley yeast know I was bringing a three gallon batch and uh, this is how much they gave me. So I'm gonna pour this in. Now there is one more stage to go here. I'm going to dry hop. So when the fermentation activity starts to die down, but just before it stops, that's when I'm going to add in my final hop charge. Two, three days from now, we'll see how long this yeast takes to activate. And then, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to enjoy seeing you drink that. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's great. Okay, so it's tasting time. I have Caleb with me. Welcome. Hey. Well, thanks for having me back. You think it's safe to say we're both quite excited. I can, I can smell it from here. Taste, but yeah, it's amazing. isn't it crazy? Yeah. So it's amazing. Just from the airlock alone, just from sniffing that, I've been getting tropical fruit. So um, yeah, it smells like a like a fresh cut like passion fruit, uh, tropical all over <laughs> everywhere. Wow. I mean, it does. It smells like fruit juice yes it smells like fruit juice yeah i made a lot of nipas and this is this is really something different this is the fruitiest non-fruit beer yeah. i think i've ever smelled That's right <laughs> yeah i'm definitely getting a lot of that just tropical passion fruit just really sticks out to me yeah i think uh reading the description of the yeast is supposed to have like passion fruit and guava, you know, characteristics. I can, you know, I can see where they get guava, but uh, definitely passion fruit. Yeah, it's absolutely super strong. You, you can definitely get it in the taste too. Yeah. And then just sort of balance with that. I think you've got the bitterness of the beer as no, well. It's, so. it's definitely got a good solid bitterness. I, I like the balance of the bitterness. The mouth feels really nice too. It, it just, it coats your mouth uh, and you, you really do get a lot of the, um, hop flavor and aroma as it's kind of, you open your mouth and you, you, you smell and taste that. Yeah. Well, yeah, this has come out so well. Thank you for doing the tasting. Oh man, with thanks me. for inviting. Absolutely, this is so worth tasting. And I, I want some of this yeast myself. Yeah, yeah, and thank you Berkeley Yeast for sending this, sending it fresh cross country overnight. Uh, you know, the, the results speak for themselves. It's amazing. Very good. <laughs> Come prepared. That's right. Uh, so we'll we'll fill those up, and I'll I'll enjoy that later. Sounds good. <laughs>